Hi, I'm Jackie from Absolute Corporate Events, and today I'm speaking to my good mate Simon. And he was, in fact, my first face to face work meeting to discuss one of his hotels, Eden Rock, Miami, where we just secured a contract, signed it. So we enjoyed a glass of champagne together. But today we are going to be speaking about Doyle Hotels, which is a privately owned, family owned, in fact, hotel group. And they have hotels across Dublin, obviously, Washington, Bristol, and we're also going to focus on London. But first, I'm going to let Simon introduce himself and a bit about Avenue Sales. Over to you, Simon. Great, thanks, Jackie. And yeah, it was lovely to see you the other week. Uh, we donned our face masks and uh, braved my very first journey on the train, which I think was interesting. But um, yeah, now it's been done, then uh, hopefully it, it's the yeah, roadmap to, to doing the new really norm. Good. Indeed, right. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Simon Johnson. I'm director at Avenue Sales and Marketing, um, and we're a dedicated hotel representation company. Uh, we only look after hotels, and we've been operating for over 20 years now. Um, That's how long I've known you then. <laughs> yeah, this has probably been our, our, our most challenging year to date, shall we say. I thought I'd seen everything, but I was wrong. Um, yeah. Anyway, we currently look after some resorts in Mauritius. Uh, we also look after RCD hotels, which Jackie's already touched upon. We have the Nobu, Miami, and Chicago hard rock hotels in Mexico, Punta Cana, and the amazing Unico Hotel in Riviera Maya in Mexico as well. And moving a little bit closer to home, uh, the Door Collection, which Jackie has already mentioned. Um, and then we also look after the Oaklands Park in Weybridge in Surrey. That's a little bit of what we do and who we do it for. Yeah, great. So focusing on Ireland, because they seem to have opened a little earlier than us. I know two of the hotels quite well. So uh, the beautiful Five Star Westbury in Dublin. And also we've used the Croke Park Hotel uh, next to the stadium because it's got big open space. So what's happening in Ireland? They seem to be open for business. Yeah, I think they fared a lot better than us, obviously a little bit smaller, but um, from what we've seen, most of the shops, restaurants and hotels are already open. Um, so they seem to be a little bit ahead of us in, in terms of recovery. Um, happy to say that all three of our island hotels are open. So the Westbury, which you've already mentioned, is our iconic hotel in the centre of Dublin in Grafton Street. Uh, 178 rooms uh, and meeting facilities up to about 100 people and that opened on the 20th of July. Mm. Um, as did the Croke Park, which as the name suggests is, is right next to the stadium. Um, really unique in, in terms of stadium hotels. Most people mention hotels connected anywhere near to a stadium. We all go, uh, but this is, is quite a, yeah, quite a beautiful hotel. And I have to say, if you've ever been to Croke Park as a, uh, a meeting venue, as well as obviously an iconic sporting venue, it really is impressive. Um, hundreds and hundreds of meeting rooms, auditoriums, a great setup, very, very impressive, almost akin to a convention center in its own right, really. Um, and then, not to be forgotten, we also have our beautiful River Lee Hotel in Cork, again, opened on the 20th of July, um, and it's a beautiful city. I think Cork's one of the most underrated cities. Yeah. Close to home, if you like. So if you're looking for a, an alternative incentive venue, um, great city, great prices, right on the doorstep with some amazing countryside and coastal land. So some really nice programs. So worth having a look at if you want something a little bit different to, to Dublin or looking for an alternative for sure. Yeah, we've worked at Crow Park quite a few times because as you say, it's got great space and a uh, yeah. very flexible auditorium, quite modern hotel, quite modern stadium and hotel, isn't it? So Yeah, in, in, they say impressive for, for stadiums. I think, you know, they're obviously up in their game and yeah, some, some stunning space, stunning space. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's happening in London? Yeah, of course. Yeah, the Marleybone Hotel is due to open on the 8th of September. Um, but the 108 Brasserie is already open in that hotel um, and as you said it, it's right in the heart of Marleybone Village, five minute walk from Bond Street Tube Station. Um, it's been undergoing a, an extensive refurbishment in, in what I would now classify as typical Doyle style, so a really eclectic mix of, of, of fabrics and, and yeah, interior design is absolutely stunning. And one of the spaces to highlight, as it's very unique, is our number six 
which is our news meeting space. Um, it's a totally private space with its own entrance off of the high street. Um, it's two meeting rooms that can be subdivided or, or had as one large meeting room. It's got its own private bar, reception area, as well as an outdoor terrace. Um, so you've got to think fireplaces, low slung armchairs, extravagant ferns, botani botanical themed upholstery, and you kind of get the idea of of what that space is so yeah very very unique in london yeah it sounds like a really good one for those board meetings and those executive meetings that are still going ahead as people plan strategy for the future so mm. it, with it having its own entrance I, I guess as well and the open air space in the bar area it's it's a great little gem isn't it yeah very much so yeah very much so and that will take up to yeah depending on the setup of the ending up yeah. to 150 packs Obviously, at the moment, with, know, yeah. with social distancing, that's reduced down slightly, but equally perfect for a, a boardroom meeting of 12 packs, as you said, um, completely privatised. Yeah, so and the Dalloway Terrace is already open, isn't it, at the Bloomsbury? Yeah, the Bloomsbury, our Dalloway Terrace and Coral Room are open, they've been open for a few weeks now, um, and the hotel's due to open 4th of September. Um, right, right, yeah. Again, different proposition to the Marlebone, obviously in, in Bloomsbury, um, but here we have a couple of you know very large ballrooms. Definitely, and I think um, a very important one as well, as we see local meetings probably come back, people probably live in London and don't need the accommodation, but might need that bigger space, particularly with social distancing, so it's a mm. great proposition, and as you say, there's not many venues that allow you to take the space without a bedroom commitment, so that's yeah. great to hear. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. There's a Dalloway Terrace and the Coral Room, which we've already touched upon, um, which are two of the most Instagram restaurants in London as well. So again, in, com in combination with, with those, then it's, it's a good offering for m &E for sure. With my little area, privately reserved. <laughs> yeah, with the, with the Jackie Freer Terrace, we're almost going <laughs> to rename it. You're there that often. But, yeah. <laughs> I love that restaurant and the staff are so lovely. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. You probably yeah. recognise me actually, I've been there a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one of the things I wanted to touch on, because as you know, I am very tough on contracts <laughs> and um, I think contracts are going to be extremely important going forward as the corporates will want to see some flexibility and some creativity as well. And Doyle is family owned and privately owned collection, I believe. So I'm assuming they can make quick decisions, they're agile and they'll be very flexible with the corporate and the agent market. Yeah, absolutely right, Jackie. I have to say, over the, the past four months, I've been so impressed with Doyle and the way that they've handled the, the situation, their, their approach to it. Um, you know, obviously, we, we deal with a lot of hotels in London, but they've been so flexible. Um, they've allowed every group to cancel with a full refund or obviously to postpone to, to the following calendar year. And I think it's this attitude that, that's going to help us moving forward. Absolutely. So at the moment... Any new inquiries, we're looking at them on an individual basis. We're making decisions based on what the client needs, flexible cancellation, obviously force majeure, flexible attrition, anything really to try and, and help you guys, help your clients get going again. You know, we, we've all got a big job to do to try and grow the, the, the conference market again. Hopefully when we open up in October, we'll be able to meet larger numbers. Um, and I think we all need to, to work together to get clients back on. And I think Doyle have, have done that to absolute perfection. Um, you know, a lot of hotels are, are, are similar as well, but certainly Doyle have, have managed to suggest, you know, that we'll look at whatever the client wants. We can make quick decisions. As you said, there's not a hierarchy that we have to go through. Um, we're not a computer says we, we are, we, we, you know, we'll do whatever works for you and for the client as best as we possibly can. Um, and it's been very refreshing yeah. to, to witness that. Lucky green for Ireland, obviously. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so you're completely right. It's collaboration, supporting the hotels, uh, get, getting meetings moving again and ensuring those contracts can be discussed and we can be flexible and I think that the outcome is what everybody wants and I, I know clients want to get back to live events um, uh, even though we're doing uh, so many virtual at the moment uh, that there's nothing like that face-to-face -face experience and it was so great to see you just in Birmingham recently and um, next time London and obviously yeah. next year Miami so <laughs> yeah, we have some 
make sure you come and see us at the Marmot Road and you can have a look firsthand, you know, what, what we've done to, to the hotel, how we've kind of recreated it and reimagined the space because I said it, it is so unique in, in London and a lot of people say that, but I think, you know, what, what we've done there is, is like nothing else in London. So pop your head in, I'll, I'll even buy you a gin and tonic. Oh, well, well, it goes without saying, of course. We know That's how much I like my food and way. drink. <laughs> 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 and always lovely to see you, of course. So thanks so much, Simon. It was really nice chatting to you today and glad to see particularly the flexibility and some of the venues now opening. And so we can consider Ireland and London again. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. We're here and we're, we're ready for you when you're, when you're ready for us. So yeah, great to Lovely. talk and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in London very soon. You will indeed. Nice to see you again. Thanks, Jackie. See you later. Bye. Bye.